Well, to me, sustainability has to do with things being able to last for a long time into the future. My definition of sustainability is something that can continuously go on indefinitely, uh, hopefully, without having to stop or change processes. Technical definition would be being able to meet the needs of the present without sacrificing the ability to meet the needs of the future. I'm actually a big fan of Wikipedia's first line. It's the capacity to endure. Sustainability, I think, is really this broad concept that addresses where human society fits in a global ecological context. I think it's easiest to think of these things in terms of our personal finances, right? Your personal finances are sustainable if on long-term average you make more money than you spend. If you're cruising along making more money than you spend, you're probably fine, right? Unless, and that you're sustainable. Unless all of a sudden your car breaks down, all of a sudden you have to replace your roof, all of a sudden you have a major medical emergency. That shock comes in and you can't handle it. So the, how do we deal with that? The, that's an unresilient system. You need some sort of a system to deal with that. So the systems we have in place in America to deal with that are credit and insurance. So in the case of credit, you, um, you take that money from your community and you pay them back later. And in the case of insurance, you pay for it ahead of time and then you are owed it back when that shock happens. So we often try to put together these two ideas, resilience and sustainability, because you need them both to have a long-term healthy outlook in your financial life. I think that helps a lot of people to have an intuitive sense of sustainability even outside of the environmental uh, sphere. So people have this intuitive sense that you know, if we expend all of our resources today, we're not gonna have any left for tomorrow. We have to budget those things and be responsible with them. Same thing with our time or our energy Energy, we have this intuitive sense of how that principle works. And so really the trick is to be able to uh, translate that sense that we have over to sustainability in terms of the environment. So people understand that principle already of sustainability in other like, contexts, and really people need to be uh, not convinced that that's an important thing to do, but rather that sustainability regarding the environment specifically is something that is high priority and is an, uh, an immediate concern for us we can apply the word sustainable or sustainability to lots of different kinds of programs, projects, relationships, business decisions. But in the context of climate change and ecological devastation, sustainability has to do with the possibility that humans and other non-human life, you know, plants, animals, and ecosystems are able to flourish on this planet forever. Now that is a definition that's been put forward by um, Paul Ehrenfeld in his book called uh, Flourishing. And every kind of component of this definition has huge significance for what we mean about sustainability, where the idea of sustainability being the possibility that we could all flourish going into the future forever means that sustainability isn't a thing. It's not something that you can touch, put your hands on, hold, or achieve. It's a process. It's an ongoing, sort of ever unfolding process. It's a state of being that we can aspire to and maybe achieve. And then when we get there, we can do everything we can to maintain that state of the world. Um, and the other kind of dimensions of that definition have to do with humans and non-human beings and flourishing and ecosystems. And I think a really important kind of extension to that definition would be the idea of equity and equitable processes. And when we think about sustainability, it's not just about achieving that ideal state, but it's about everything that feeds into the possibility of that happening. And that requires talking to people of all walks of life, looking at especially centering the needs of um, frontline and marginalized communities, and making sure that their voices and actions are at the center of this process. If you think about um, cycles between man and, I would say, trees or, or plants, we have this continuous cycle that had been going on for millennia where we take in their byproduct, which is oxygen, and then we provide a byproduct in carbon dioxide, which they take in and then they convert it. So we have a very good cycle on that process. That's what I think is sustainable. So there is nothing that's truly wasted or the waste product that I have is a feed source for some other entity. And so that, that relationship continues on and on and on. 
That's on the environmental side of it, but I do think there has to be economic sustainability as well to ensure that nothing is being destroyed so the resources that we have uh, is not being utilized in ways that we can't regain those resources again. So you start chopping down trees and stuff like that because you want to build things or whatever the case may be. Now it's not economically sustainable because at some point it's going to run out. Um, and then there has to be social sustainability as well. So any decisions that we make can't be socially disruptive to another group or another entity. So all of those aspects is my definition of sustainability. Thinking about that as such a broad project, I think, one thing that's valuable in that is making, that phrasing I think makes clear why this is a project that's not just of some particular fields in the natural sciences or a project that's even just uh, in the university setting, uh, but rather an ideal target for collaboration among different different uh, researchers in different disciplines who might otherwise have quite different projects uh, and also in conversation and in collaboration with stakeholders in the community. Sustainability is often defined in the context of the environment and we do have a whole field of environmental education which addresses that and sustainability and sustainability, sustainability education emerge from environment but it's meant to be much more broader to recognize and address the complexities of economic and, and social forces that really then have profound consequence on the health and well-being of our ecosystems. We need to stop thinking about the what of sustainability because that's always going to be changing. It's about reading the people and reading the lay of the land. It's about reading the historical and um, traditional knowledge of the places in which you are in and trying to identify, okay, where do we want to go? But maybe more importantly, when we get there, is it even going to be the same thing that we thought it was at the beginning? Because that future is always going to be changing based off the decisions that we make today. And so it is going to be the defining of sustainability is going to be more about the how of self and the how of the collective of how is it that we continue to expand that capacity to endure. Mm -hmm.